How's it going, everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming. Thank you for joining me, and welcome back to Let's Make a Game for 2018 inside the RPG Maker MV Engine, where we create a sim RPG game called Natural Explorers. Let's take a look at some of the ideas that people have put in the comments. Lots of comments have been made, and I thank you guys so much for your feedback. I really appreciate that. You can pause the video and read them if you like. I'll mention a few. Zakik has suggested we add custom vehicles or railroads for fast travel, add RNG events with custom items. We'll do something like this on a little bit later. We have more places to travel to. There's not a lot of reason for fast travel at this point. Kmix Dash has suggested that we add iron and stone as another gatherable resource. So we may take a look at our mine timer common event, change it so that there could be more possible outcomes for the mine, or we can change it in a way that lets the player specify what they want to use that mine for. I was also considering making an architect's building that you would have to go in to purchase the rights to build certain types of mines. Like once you unlock the blueprint for iron mining, you can get the ore. Once you unlock the blueprint for a quarry, you can get stone. Callum Porter suggests using Galv's variable bar for the hunger system. And he also provided a couple of PNG files. Jerry FFF Bassist, also known as Rainer Zamora on Discord, sent me some more coin art, some better looking coin art that I've updated the animation for. And also sent some better food art, which may or may not be used depending on if we change the system to use Galv variables or not. Obviously, we have conflicting ideas and not everything will make it in. And most likely, things will be rewritten and redesigned several times. So let's jump into the project. I've done a little bit off camera, not very much. I made a sound effect in Audacity. <laughs> a nom 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 sound to add to the animation that I created or eat food. At the end of the last episode, I mentioned I didn't like this animation. <laughs> Well, not that I didn't like it, it's just it, I didn't feel like it was appropriate, it didn't kind of fit right for the eating food, plus even though it's centered, it's set up to look like a screen effect. So I might use that for something, maybe this will be our fast travel animation, I don't know. Create a new animation, this is a eating, this is going to be our eating animation, and I'm reusing that recovery for animation file that I edited in Photoshop before. So I found a purpose for this asset, which is great. <laughs> That works a lot better for when you consume food. Speaking of consuming food, I started the idea of a farm and to give the player a way to produce food. So I kind of took the format from the mine, set it into a farm, but instead of having multiple outcomes, it's just a very simplified version of that. It just starts a timer, it's a parallel process, and if farm timer is on, which will be turned on upon purchasing the farm, then it's a parallel process that adds one to a new variable, farm timer, every frame, and it checks to see if that variable is above a certain amount. The first thing I did was try to decide how long I want it to take for the farm to produce a food. And I don't want one farm to produce more food than the player needs. And I know that one food will provide 20% of their health bar. I took 30% of their max health bar, which would be three minutes, use that number. I went with 60 frames per second times 60 seconds in a minute times three, and that gave me 10,800. But I'm also going to reduce that by a factor of 10 to debug it. So it runs 10 times faster. So that's going to award the player one food every 180 seconds. I'm also reducing that by 10, so it'll be every 18 seconds for right now while we debug it. I added the show icon balloon plugin command so we can get the balloon icon pop up. Created a new event to use for the farm and drew a farm on the map and edited the map a little bit. I'm reusing the DG cup clack for we got a resource for the gab window. I'm using slash ii in the message core to call upon the item and the icon I've said has been produced and then we're forcing the gab. Once the timer has reached that certain amount and awarded food, it resets the timer. That's what happens. So now we need to debug this. So I've changed the map around a little bit. Might as well start the timer. Do you want to purchase this farm? It costs a thousand and provides one boot every... Actually, I change it from six minutes to three minutes. So while we're waiting for that, let me edit this to update it. Every three minutes. I had changed my mind. That was just a text. So I've removed some of these trees on this location. Just did some minor modifications to the map just to make it look a little bit better. Constantly work on it. It'll be changed quite a bit. Food has been produced. Hey, we got it. Let's see if it actually awards it. It does because we started with 10. Let's consume a food. 
There's our sound effect and our animation for consuming food. And as the town's giving us tax money, we're getting food from the farm. We get enough, we'll be able to build the mine. In this episode, I want to create a quarry right here, a stone quarry. So now we have food, gold, and the mine, which is producing ore, coal, and diamonds. So we'll create a quarry that has a similar setup like the mine that can produce maybe two things. I think maybe we'll have salt and stone. Nom nom nom. And somebody mentioned that, oh, there's a bug. If you eat a lot of food, you'll you'll fill up your timer. I addressed that in the comments. I'll show you one more time, the, whoever was asking about it. It's not a bug, it's actually fixed. It's This is a clamp right here. This stops the player from going over full, so they can't eat a bunch of food and go AFK because at any point when they go over the maximum amount, it resets the value to just the maximum amount. So even though the food is adding 7,000 to the timer, if you eat it, when you're not like say 35,000, it's not gonna take you up to 42,000. It will for one frame, but then it'll be clamped back down to 36,000. So you will only have 10 minutes in one frame at any one time. And so you're only gonna have 10 minutes AFK. So we, we did take a look at that. Okay, I think that addressed most of the comments that I had. A lot of people are putting out ideas. Thank you guys so much for the ideas. They're great ideas. So we'll use this icon over here. I'll put that like right there. We'll go back to the event layer and create a new event right here. Would you like to participate? We haven't created the items yet, but I'm going to put them in the index anyway. Item 6 or 7. And then we'll say every... This is going to be changed constantly, but we'll say every 30 seconds. Now to save some time, I'm going to copy paste the show text for the farm. If they say build the quarry, it'll check to see if they have the gold for that. If they do, it'll install, it'll play an animation and consume the gold. Turn on a switch, which we need to make. So this will be quarry. And if they don't have enough, it'll let the player know how much they currently have. Also, I'm going to add the you currently have to the first option. You currently have that much. And cut the control variables for player gold and put it at the very top. I'll do that with the farm as well. And I might as well do that with the mine as well. And I'm going to update the mine so that it only provides something every 30 seconds. That's a minute divided by two, 1800. So that would give us 30 seconds. We'll have our mine producing something every 30 seconds. We'll have our quarry producing something every 30 seconds. We'll have each one of our farms producing something every three minutes. But right now we're going to test the farm. Instead of every three minutes, we'll have it every 18 seconds producing something. Okay, so we need to set up a page two on the farm. So once the player has it purchased, they don't need to repurchase it. The same thing with the quarry. We need to set up self switch A being on for the second page. Otherwise, it'll just default to the second page. Let's create the six and seven database items, the salt and stone. Let's set up our quarry timer.
I'm going to set the timer to be every three seconds just to see what we get with the quarry timer. I set the rarity check so that it's 80% of the time stone and 20% of the time salt. Salt being the slightly more expensive and more rare. So this seems to be working out fine. We're going to slow it down so that it only triggers every 30 seconds. It's working every 3 now. I'm not sure if I want to require an item for the quarry to work. The same with the farm. I mean, I could have it require pickaxes to work. But I think I'll just have it set up so that it produces slower than the mine. The mine will produce, I would, I'll probably speed it up so that it's 15 or 20 seconds, but it requires a pickaxe. The farm is going to be very slow, but not require anything. And the quarry is going to be in the middle, but also not require anything. And the quarry is going to produce pretty low level goods, just like the farm, low level goods. The mines will produce potentially higher level goods like diamonds and whatnot. They will require items, but I'm going to say that this works fine for now. We could put an animation for when it produces the same with the farm. In fact, let's do that. We'll have an animation play for when the quarry produces and an animation play for when the farm produces. Make two animations real quick. I think we need to create our own image for something here. I'm not digging any of the default images, so I'm gonna create my own image for when the farm and the quarry produces. And there we have our station produced animation. Very miscellaneous. <laughs> but it looks different and I'm okay with it for now. I like it. In fact, I'm going to use this for all of the productions until I find a better one or make specified ones. I'll be replacing the mine with that one as well. Cool. That's going to do it for this episode. We've got a lot more stuff to do. Please continue to post your comments below if you have suggestions that you would like to see in this project. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and if you'd like to support me, please visit my Patreon page, patreon.com slash driftwoodgaming. That is patreon.com slash driftwoodgaming. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's awesome of you guys to participate in this project. I'm having so much fun building it. Remember to stay awesome, and we'll see you next time.